Hey, Steve and Veronica Kibler here, and today we are going to go into Golden Corral and see what they got in there for hopefully an affordable big lunch. <laughs> so this Golden Corral is located at 513 Winfield Dunn Parkway in Sevierville, Tennessee. And we were able to, we were waiting for lunch, but um, I guess when we walked in, they were still serving breakfast. So um, we paid and came in and here's a look at what was uh, being served for breakfast. Yeah, I was right at the time that they were getting ready to serve lunch. It was just a few minutes before, but they ended up only charging us for the breakfast rate. Yeah, which was kind of nice. Yeah. So they have a variety of desserts, including pies, and uh, we saw some cupcakes there at the beginning, and they have some dinner rolls, mm -hmm. peach cobbler, and cinnamon uh, banana pudding bread, brownies, brownies and chocolate brownies. chip cookies, and fudge. And, and then they started bringing out some lunch items. Yes, they had some fried chicken and some greens, uh, greens and cabbage, okay. corn. corn, and they had the good looking bacon there and <laughs> some sausage, French okay. toast, pancakes. And I think by the time you got done filming, they had more lunch stuff out. Yes. When you were filming the buffet anyway. Yes. Um, but yes, l later on, they, as I was walking through, they were actually starting to bring out the lunch items here. They had salads, different um, iceberg. They had the uh, variety of greens. And all the yeah, all the toppings. They have a, a nice salad bar area. They do tomatoes, yeah. carrots, bell pepper. I mean everything that you can think of, and a variety of dressings to go with them, mm -hmm. as well as some pasta salads and potato salads, and some of my favorite beets. I love mm -hmm. beets on my salads. Sunflower seeds, cottage, cottage cheese, cheese, more peaches, <laughs> and. Uh, grapes and pineapple and the pot roast came out you know the pot roast was there looking good and they had the chilies and again the cabbage and the greens and some cheesy rice yeah. a lot of good items to choose from and I started out with some fried chicken mashed potatoes some of that delicious cheesy rice with little bits of carrot and uh, some greens and so you got a charred jalapeno there too delicious charred jalapeno and i had some okra some baked beans and meatloaf and i you know when i go to a buffet i just overdo it i put so much stuff on my plate it has a little bit of everything some <laughs> corned beef hash and and mushrooms and, and i had fried chicken i had to get a second plate fried chicken and the fish and the cocktail sauce and the mashed taters gravy and some bourbon chicken and I was just in time to still get some um, orange juice because I guess they they put the orange juice away at lunchtime so I was lucky enough to still get some orange juice and and uh, had some of this really yummy rice with cheese in it and, and the little bits of carrot it was really good and then I had some juicy um, sweet cabbage juicy and crisp at the same time and they had the little carrots that were uh, sweet and tender and some greens the greens were um, they weren't spicy or anything like that so they were they were pretty pretty bland but I mean not bad yeah, at least you got your greens. At least I got my greens for the day. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm just thankful for restaurants that do serve greens. Yes. And of course, mashed potatoes. And I, I had the light gravy on there, which is more like a like a chicken gravy. Yeah, it was a chicken gravy, mm -hmm. yeah, the lighter one. Yes, and it was good. Mm -hmm. mashed potatoes are usually really good but I didn't mm -hmm. want to fill up too much on mashed potatoes <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> the chicken was really crisp and uh, this was a thigh and it was a just a little over baked but 
but that's because they got the the skin really crispy, which mm -hmm. I like the skin really crispy. Yeah, I think the skin was really good, but the the meat itself was a little on the drier side. Mine was okay, just a tad, but well, not, you had a thigh. Yeah. I had a thigh, not too bad. Yeah. But I normally don't eat the skin unless it's super crispy, and this was really crispy, which was really nice because um, I enjoy eating uh, the skin, mm -hmm. and then I like eating jalapenos with chicken. So I was able to combine my jalapeno flavor there with the <laughs> yeah. pieces of chicken. Yeah. The only thing missing was tortillas, so I could make yeah, a taco. Make a taco out of it. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but at least they had the, you know, the little charred uh, jalapenos. That was a really nice surprise. Mm -hmm. I was not expecting those at yeah. the Golden Corral. So yeah. that was really nice. Yeah. Then Very that's nice what we surprise. like about uh, places like a Golden Corral, that they have so many things to choose from. They have a yeah. um, variety of things for everybody. I mean, anybody right. that, you know, if you have kids and, you know, they don't normally want to eat you know what you want to eat then there's so many other choices yeah yeah there's something for everybody at golden corral now i had the the baked beans there and they were a good baked bean i was very happy with them it's uh probably pretty much you know a traditional baked bean that you would get at a buffet you know they're pretty close um and they were good and then I had this sausage. It was like a sausage onion pepper mix. And man, the sausage was good. That was a very good sausage. I really liked it. Very flavorful sausage. And then I had the mushrooms. Those look like sauteed mushrooms. Yeah, they were good. <laughs> I love mushrooms. You know, there's... It's a very good item for me. And then the meatloaf. The meatloaf more! Yeah, <laughs> it was uh, it was a really good meatloaf with the gravy on it. Uh, you know, I say, you know, Golden Corral makes a good meatloaf. I don't think you'd be disappointed. Oh, and that was the uh, roast beef. Yeah, the roast beef ended up being really good also. Yeah. I mean, Golden Corral is really, really pretty good. I mean, yeah. they yeah. have good food. Mm -hmm. They got some uh, corned beef hash. I think that may have been left over from the breakfast. Mm -hmm. I saw it, and I love corned beef yes, hash. Yes, you like oh. corned beef hash, yes. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things I, you know don't get it very often but it, it is <laughs> I enjoy it every time I get it and then fried okra oh goodness gracious you know the fried okra is really good it I looked, mean for the price like, you just can't go wrong yeah it looked like the fried okra was lightly crispy and yeah. you know fried nicely mm -hmm. and then you had the popcorn shrimp of course, I like uh, shrimp cocktail sauce on my uh, breaded shrimp, so you know I had a little bit of cocktail sauce. And if you're having troubles finding the cocktail sauce at Golden Corral, it's over by the dressings in the salad area. <laughs> you went hunting for it. Yeah, you. I had to hunt for it. <laughs> I had to ask somebody, Where, where's the cocktail sauce? <laughs> now this fish, it was seasoned really well, and it, it was a very mild tasting fish. Uh, I'm not sure what what species of fish it was. I'm sure some type of white fish, but uh, it, it was delicious. It was a good tasting fish. And then the mashed potatoes and gravy. And I got the brown gravy, the darker brown gravy, which is more of a beef gravy, I guess. Um, you know, and that's, I really like that as well. And the bourbon chicken, you know, it kind of has that Asian flavor yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really good. Like I said, I mean, there's not too much there that I didn't like. I mean, it's, I mean, it was all good. And you just can't beat the price. Now, the chicken here at Golden Corral, um, for me, the, the skin was done really well. The, the meat itself was probably a little bit on the drier side. I had a breast meat, you know, and this is fried chicken. But I would say McDonald's fried chicken is probably as good as a lot of the places down here in this greater Sevier County area that claim they have good chicken. 
mm -hmm. I'd say their chicken yeah. is right up there with them. You know? Yeah, and it's not it's not a chicken that you get a ton of spices on it. Um, yeah. So if you're looking for a spicy chicken, that's, yeah, that's you know di else, different yeah. places that we filmed at, and yeah. you can see those videos. But this one is your traditional fried chicken. is is uh, not too not you know a lot of spices where yeah. it's going to be hot or anything like that as mm -hmm. far as um, mm -hmm. flavor but it's a good chicken i thought but, it, it was good yeah. and it just again they just cooked a little bit yeah. much but not bad at all now the easter bunny was there earlier in the day so we took advantage of the little the photo site op. Where the photo op there <laughs> thing <laughs> one of the one of the wait Sir, staff yes. people servers they uh ran our camera for us yeah so that was nice we missed the easter bunny though mm -hmm. but i steve was raving about the meatloaf and the sausage so i went back for some and uh wanted to try it and i wanted to also get my uh, broccoli in for the for the day and the the meatloaf was super tender and juicy full of flavor so they used the right amount of spices in it and the gravy um was just an extra added layer of flavor to that delicious meatloaf. I was really surprised how juicy and tender that meatloaf was. It was really good. Yeah, they do it right. Full, full of flavor. So I love, I love that meatloaf. And again, you know, tasting it with the jalapeno, an extra pop of flavor there <laughs> in that bite. It was so good. I usually cook my meatloaf with jalapenos in it, so. That was nice uh, to have that jalapeno flavor. And the green beans, um, they're fine. They're your regular, probably, you know, green beans from the can, which is not yeah. too bad. Yeah. Um, but if you're craving green beans, there you go. There you go. They have them, and mm. the broccoli was tender and juicy. Um, it w you know, I like my broccoli cooked well. Some people don't, but this was in, you know, in between, so it wasn't overcooked and it wasn't too green. So it was juicy and crisp at the same time. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Mm. And then I had to try that sausage that Steve was raving about. So Yeah, it's a good sausage. Uh, had, had caramelized. <laughs> that sausage was cooked with like some onions that got caramelized and some bell pepper. Mm. Um, so it it was really good. I, I I looked at it when he was eating. I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna have to try that. Mm -hmm. and those onions were sweet and caramelized, and the sausage had really good flavor. Not super spicy. Yeah, it wasn't a super spicy sausage, but I mean, you knew it had some. It spice had in spices it. in it. It yeah. it wasn't just you know a bland yeah. piece of meat. It, it it was a good sausage. Mm -hmm. There's some of the bell pepper that was cooked with those onions and got all nice and caramelized. It was really delicious. Mm -hmm. And they had pinto beans, which I love pinto beans. So that was again, really um, nice to be able to combine those pinto beans with the rest of my meal. Yeah, the they just beans. taste so earthy, yeah. you know. Yeah, pinto beans are, are a, a good bean. Then I went ahead and got some dessert. Um, got a pecan pie, or pecan, however you want to say it. Pecan, I say it, yeah. pecan. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then I got the peach cobbler. And the peach cobbler looks like the cobbler was all gone. Yeah, the the top, the crust part, <laughs> it was got worked over already. Uh, yeah, <laughs> folks, were I missed out on the. Yeah. Uh, I got a little piece as there. As soon as those yeah. dishes come out, yeah. folks run over there and yeah. like, okay, I got to have the best, the best part of it. And yeah. they picked out all the cobbler. Yeah. <laughs> so is the crust called cobbler? Yes, the crust is called cobbler because okay. it looks like co like a cobbler okay. walkway. Okay. I'm not sure what a cobbler walkway is, but you know. In European cities, they... I mean cobbler or... Yeah. Uh, Cobblestone? Cobblestone, I'm sorry, yes, like a yeah. cobblestone, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've heard that somewhere in a baking show once. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now here, I went back uh, for mm -hmm. some cornbread, because um, I love cornbread, and I wanted to combine that with the pinto beans, and then I saw they had um, the yams with the, mush with the um, marshmallows, which I love. Mm -hmm. and some macaroni and cheese and I thought well I'm gonna try this macaroni and cheese see 
Mm-hmm. I taste because I know a mm-hmm. lot, of, a lot kids, of kids love macaroni and cheese. Kids love the macaroni and cheese. And so the cornbread was mm-hmm. soft and tender and mildly sweet. So it went really good with those pinto beans, those earthy flavor pinto beans. It was really good. And uh, got to taste that and then um, went in for seconds because, like I said, I love cornbread. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I probably should have got me some cornbread also. The macaroni and cheese was okay. Um, yeah. It was kind of like a little oily in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure if maybe it's the type of cheese that they're using or mm-hmm. if they, maybe they added some oil to it. But no, it was you're... just okay. I think there was a lot better items to if eat. If it was like a Velveeta type cheese, a block type cheese, sometimes they're kind of oily. Right? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. But it, mm-hmm. I didn't finish the macaroni mm-hmm. and cheese. I thought it was just okay. Mm-hmm. But the yams, oh my goodness. Those were sweet. I think they did have a little bit of brown sugar on them, which usually yams, you when you it. bake them, you don't really need to add sugar to them because mm-hmm. they they have so much sugar flavor in their natural um, you know, That's steak. why they call them a sweet potato. Yeah. Yeah, because they're naturally sweet. But yeah, they did have a little bit of brown sugar. But other than that, it was yeah. it was delicious. Now I just I'd already had my dessert, but I had, I walked by the, everything one more time, and I said I got some chili and a slice of pizza. Just wanted to let you folks know that you know they had pizza there too. So again, you know, if your kids don't know or people don't know what they want to eat, crack, or um, golden golden corral has a little bit of everything. Yes, and that chili looks really good. Oh man, it was actually a really good chili. I would put it right up there with uh, uh, Wendy's chili. Wendy's or chili, yeah. yes, I like Wendy's chili. Yeah. I can see they has the uh, the tomatoes and the yeah, celery. So, mm-hmm. It had chunks of tomato in it. Yeah. And that, that that was actually a really good chili. Now, is it a, a competition chili? No, but it was a it was a good everyday type chili. Yeah. As far as restaurants go, it was a really good chili. I'll have to try their chili next time we go yeah. there. Oh, I, I recommend it. It was good. That's mm-hmm. why I, was, I wish I probably should have grabbed some cornbread for that. I didn't mm. see the cornbread. Now you're making me hungry yeah, again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and in the pizza, you know, it was, uh, it, I just grabbed a slice of pepperoni, you know, just keep it simple. They had other types of pizza out there too. But, uh, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a good pepperoni pizza. I mean, are there better pizzas out there at other places? Well, yeah, but as far as a buffet, mm-hmm. you know, this this was a good slice of pizza. It looked like it had a nice crust. Yes. Yeah. And it had yeah. lots of tomato sauce on it yeah. from what I could see when I walked by it. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I just had so much already on my plate that I couldn't eat oh, yeah. more. I mean, we were both stuffed food. by this time. And I, I wanted to try a couple of different desserts yeah. to show what they had to offer. And this is the cherry flavor um, jello with whipped cream and um, of course I love coffee so um, they brought me a cup of coffee mm-hmm. and it was the coffee was just made so it was fresh it was really good it wasn't bitter at all um, and that whipped cream oh my goodness that refreshing jello flavor and then that burst of cherry flavor it's, it's like all these mm. multiple layers of flavors in my mouth with mm. that delicious whipped cream. Oh, it was so good. I thought I was only going to be able to, you know, taste that a little bit, but I ended up eating the, the whole thing. thing. <laughs> yes, I did. I went back to it and ate the whole yeah. thing. And then here's the cinnamon um, banana um, uh, the bread. Banana, the banana bread, yeah. And um, it was it was okay. I yeah. mean, if you're craving cinnamon, mm. you know, uh, pudding bread. Yeah. They bread had pudding, yeah. bread pudding. They have yeah. it, and since the co- the peach cobbler, they it was everybody had already taken. You know? Yeah, the, the crust part. The crust yeah. part. Then I thought, well, maybe yeah. I'll add some of this um, bread pudding to it and combine mm-hmm. it. And um, and here's I'm just taste. Yeah, I'm ta- I'm combining it, tasting it with the peaches, and it was pretty good. Those peaches mm-hmm. are really refreshing and sweet. Mm-hmm. So I'm getting my fruit in for the day. So that was good. Mm-hmm. So it was a really nice experience for twenty four twelve is what we paid yeah, for both of for us. For both of us to eat. So lots of food, yeah. lots of choices, 
uh, great place to go to, you know, if you're looking to please a lot of different yeah. palettes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they even had an icy machine and they had strawberry shortcake, cherry, lemonade, coconut pie flavors. Uh, but we were just too full to try that. But they had a nice machine and they had an ice cream machine as well. Yeah. So if you like the videos that we're bringing you, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. It is free to subscribe and click that like button. Click the um, little bell, which will uh, remind you or alert you when we upload new videos. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope that you're enjoying the uh, videos we're bringing you. And uh, thank you for watching. And we had a really good time at the Golden Corral in Sevierville. Yes, we did. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you for watching, and we hope that you have a great rest of your week.